Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm just going to reply to one of the questions recently we had. It says, can I use one AdSense account to multiple domains and YouTube channels? The reply to that is, yes, you can. Um, this is what I've done. I would just explain a bit that basically all you need to do is uh, go to your AdSense account and then add domains. You can add multiple domains. However, you're going to have to install the code as well. And I'll be showing all that basically in this video. And also you can create uh, multiple YouTube channels and then you can connect all of them with one AdSense account. So let me just go and show you basically. Example, this is the websites I have. And all you need to do is you're going to need to go and install a code into your website. So first thing first, all you, all you do is just go and you log in, log in to your AdSense account. To the AdSense account, you'll be using all your domains and all your YouTube accounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in first to my AdSense account. Once you log in to AdSense account dashboard, first thing first, you need to go to sites. So click on sites. Just bear in mind, you got a few type of AdSense account. You have a, a, a hosted AdSense for account, which can be applied from YouTube and blogger.com. And you got the uh, hosted for content, which you can apply direct from your website. To apply hosted for content, all you need to do is just go to google.com forward slash, and then you go AdSense. In here, you need to first log in with the existing account from Google and then apply from there. It's just going to ask you a very basic question. And all the, all the ways I'm talking about, if you don't have AdSense account, if you have, then you can skip this process and just log in. And then it, once, once we're here, basically, we need to add a domain to the existing AdSense account. So then just go and grab the URL go to add site add the website just remove the uh, forward slash line and just click on next once you click on next google is going to provide you with a code and now this code we need to install we need to show google basically that we own that website so just copy now go to the dashboard to your um, website that you want to install the code and then go to appearance and then go to theme editor. Once you're in there, just look for the header.php. It's very easy if you are in a WordPress basically to do that. So always just use that. So click on that one. And then you will go to the second page. Now in here, there is so much code basically. Sometimes we, we don't know, you know, where to install the code. So all you need to do is just hit the control or CTRL on your keyboard and then click on F for finding or to find the code basically we want to. So uh, just hit the bracket, uh, type in head, then close in bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard again. Once you do that, uh, it's going to take you directly basically where the header is. So it has even highlighted to show you where it is. So now what we need to do is just we need to um, hit enter a few times. We don't want to mix the code with something else and just put the code. You can either paste because we already copied the code from AdSense or hit CTRL and then V, control V, and then the code has been pasted. Now, once we click update, it means we are notifying Google that we have installed the code into our website. So what Google is going to do is basically it's going to review your website and if it complies with the policy, then uh, it's going to accept your ads and the ads will start showing your website. After it starts showing your website, you can also go to your AdSense account, click on ads and then add units and then you can install different type of you add units that you want into your website and this is how it works basically installing ads into your website or using multiple domains into your website now that i've used this i'm going to go to show i'm going to show you and you can do that with many more sites not just uh, the site that i've been adding myself but you can add more and more and more domains into your existing AdSense account 
Now that I have completed this step, I'm going to go to the second step. Second step is going to be by um, connecting many more YouTube channels with this particular lessons which I have. It's very important before we proceed. Example, uh, you can connect same channel you have you may have in the same Google account with the same AdSense account. So let's say if you have a um, account one by Gmail, uh, it's a bit confused. I'm going to try to explain to you. You, you may have two different uh, Google account and then connect with one AdSense account, but you can also have uh, one AdSense account and in the same account you can have your YouTube account. So then you can, let's say in, in uh, one account, YouTube account, you can create multiple uh, channels. So you can use the same channels to connect with your existing uh, example AdSense account. Or if you have um, AdSense account in email one, let's say, and then you have in email two and three and four different type of email and different type of accounts, you can still connect them with the same AdSense account. That's why I said this is a bit confusing unless you basically follow that and you see what I'm doing. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to use uh, email one account, which I have my AdSense account, and then I'm going to create another email to different type of YouTube account, and I'm going to connect it with the email one, which I have AdSense account. So I'll be showing how to do that. And if you are beginning, basically, while I'm talking this way, you may find it a bit uh, complicated. So this is what I'm going to do. Example, uh, email one, which I have right here, is nothing to do with the account which I'm going to connect it now. So it's different email, the AdSense account I have. So that's, that's what I'm going to connect it now. So first thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change Studio Beta to a basic one. So first, we need to log in to our YouTube account. Once we log into your YouTube account, we need to go to uh, YouTube Studio. And then from there, we will take it basically from there. So, okay, I've got that. We're going to go to the settings, and we're just going to go and create a Studio Classic. So save it. Once it's saved, uh, then I'm just going to reload the page. Uh, now, when we go to uh, the icon, we have click on Create a Studio. Uh, this is much easier anyway. Click on Channels. Uh, so far, monetization is not eligible. So what we're going to do, we're going to change the country to the country we are living. So let's just go to, um, I'm going to choose UK. And then I'm just going to click on Save Changes. So now let's go to uh, channels again. So channel. Now the button is um, monetized or enabled. So let's just click on it. Well, enabled. So uh, let's just start. We need to click on start. We agree with all basically policy that Google has put forward for us and just put, uh, click on I accept. It takes a few seconds basically to go to the next page. And now the option one has been completed. We need to go to the uh, sign up for AdSense. Since we have AdSense account, we don't need to sign up. All we're going to do is just connect this channel, YouTube channel, with any AdSense account you may have. Even if it's in different email, you can still connect it. But if it's in the same email, the process is much easier. However, if it's in different email, all you need to do is just log into different type of um, accounts. So let's just go and start. And then we click on next. Now we need to choose where is your AdSense account, which account it is. So I'm just going to choose that. This is where I have in this particular account, I have my AdSense account. So click on next. So now it says the YouTube URL of that channel you're basically trying to connect automatically does show on there. 
all we need to basically just uh, accept association so we need to do that and this is the connection between the youtube channel and your adsense account and it says we redirect you to your hosted where you can continue uh, the setup um, and you can start using adsense if you not redirected within a few seconds click redirect but in reality just redirected me so now that we have uh, finished the second step all we need to do is just go to the third step so just click on start and basically you don't need to make any changes it all looks fine unless you want to basically different that what it shows in here so just click on save and then we have completed all the process now this particular uh, youtube channel has been connected with our adsense account to find out that um, if in the future basically someone takes it over and makes changes to your assets account and to find out that which YouTube channel is connected with which YouTube uh, with assets account uh, all you can do is just go to associated assets account and then it shows basically your assets publisher ID so same you can log into your assets account and see if it matches same publisher ID, YouTube ID with AdSense uh, ID, then basically that YouTube account has been connected uh, with that AdSense account. That's how you can find out. And this is basically it. So now you can go to another YouTube account and do the same routine, same thing, and then connect it with your AdSense account. Bear in mind, you have to wait uh, for um, within 12 months to have 4k um, hours view on your videos and of course you're gonna have to have basically 1k subscribe as well into YouTube account before Google reviews make sure you don't copy somebody's videos and basically make sure you create something by yourself this is when you can have your YouTube channel monetized very quickly so thanks for watching this video if you got any comments, please put it below this video and I do reply in all comments. Uh, also, if you want to subscribe, just turn the notification bell as well because that is going to help you um, and update you when a new video has been published um, in my channel. Thanks again for watching this video.